the knife fight, the the, the disease. So I think Dutch partly believed us. We've been with him 20 years. We never turned. We doubted him, but we never turned. Where Mike had only known him for like five months to a year. Two tops, if that. Some years later. <sighs> God damn. The, the what? I couldn't see that because of my TV is different from the close. recording section. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. So, this is John. Should've just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? And his family. Come on, John. Please try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in in strawberry. Oh, I hate strawberry. I know they like good, honest, hardworking men a whole lot. Ugh. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. <laughs> His wife nagging him. I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. This <laughs> is And well... Maybe he's doing oh wow but still, go to strawberry so he's reading or whatever she's reading um i'm gonna check the time with you i know it's probably long oh come on you can't even save it at this point man this is i'll break it up as much as possible but we gotta go wherever we gotta go and then i'll save it when i can so he's reading books whoa So at this point, at this point, Arthur Morgan's dead. It's years later. I'm assuming we're dead. I don't know where Dutch is. Is he dead or? Well, I don't know. No, they, they, him and Mike have got away. So, sorry guys. Again, I'm not even. Oh my god. So yeah, but they got away. Scott free, I assume. Oh my god. Guys, sorry, I'm, I was just checking something on my recording. Just to see if it had fingered. It was still going safe and well because of uh, how long I've been recording right now. I'm not even too sure. It feels like it's been two hours plus, you know what I mean? So, god damn. Like I said, I'll break it up as much as possible. Oh my god, this poxy bloody... So we're heading to Strawberry to try and low, like live there now, uh, instead of a few weeks. And, and he keeps shooting people. I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. You can't keep acting that way and expect to you have a peaceful life. Like you're going to place to place because they know you. We've been on the run forever. You can't do that. He has to change his ways. All right. Go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Well, at least it's honest. Then you won't be shot at and everything else. The problem is with an honest life, 
it's a hard life because it's because most things are like you know it is what it is most people can do the job that's jobs people don't want to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Jim Milton. <laughs> my wife and I and our boy. We was robbed a few mm. days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about Not a it. wagon by any chance? Sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if you'd it, like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. All right. Yeah, he played the sympathy card there. That was smart. I just got robbed a few days ago. And, like, that was a smart move, you know. Like this simple folk. I kind of like that. That's pretty good. Clever. Got the sympathy there. You know. And of course, we do, we do money fast, obviously. And even if you don't, Whatever savings you have stashed, you want to keep saved. You know what I mean? And just work, get cash flow coming in. I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Damn. Is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John. All right. No shooting, people. Don't you forget that. <laughs> Not ever now. I won't. I hate the hat he's wearing. Is he a pinky blinder? What's going on? Never really seen the show. Never really watched it. You know, I know it's popular. A lot of things are popular and I don't watch. I won't even lie. But yeah, I think my brother's got a cap like that. I do not like the look of it. I'd never wear one myself. It makes you look older, man. Like, ugh. So I didn't like it in the game either, you know what I mean? Like when they gave you the option to have it. We loaded up pretty good. Okay, Mr. All right, remember my name's Milton. Jim Milton. Of course. All right. Deliver these goods to the ranch. Okay, I'm driving crap right now. Oh, give me a second. I'm trying to find it. I can't even. They're not even letting me, uh, thingy. Back away. What's going on? Look, I can't even turn. I can't do anything. Look. I can't even do anything. Oh, there we are. Square. Why is it square now? What's going on here? Yeah, this is stupid. Generally cannot do anything. R2, look, it's L, R2 to the back up. There you are, I failed it. That's fine. I might just stop it here and then continue. Because I can save all the footage I've got. Yeah, here we are. That's fine. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna just check the time with the uh, just just kill the footage. <clears throat> All right, guys. Hold on. <clears throat> right. So the video went on for two hours, and I've edited it down. So you guys broke an hour yesterday, an hour today, and I'm just gonna continue with the ending part of this. Um, <laughs> Of dropping off this guy's um, <coughs> stuff to his house. Uh, the first chance I get to save it, that will be the end of the video. And then tomorrow or what have you, well, or whenever I release the next part, will um, will be tomorrow. And this will be, um, <coughs> the next part will be John's story, I suppose, about how he, um, how he tries to earn an honest living here. Um, I'm not a fan of this town, 
mainly because we broke Micah out, and it was just a horrible town to fuck with, and I didn't like it much. It's not very... it's a weird one. It's not as pleasant as the other towns. Valentine's better. They're not laid, It's not laid out very well, I feel. So it wasn't my favourite town to be in. I didn't even like staying in here. Um, tried to avoid it. I think I've come here like twice in total. Uh, to rescue Micah now, and then maybe I came to stay a night because it was near. But after that, I didn't give a shit about this town. So yeah, it's not my favourite place to be. But anyway, we'll drop this off and... Uh, yeah, but as I said, like an honest living is like everyone's trying to do it and you have to work extra hard to get anything out of it. And that's the problem, you know what I mean? Blood, sweat and tears and just everyday life, working hard for other people to earn a little bit of money to, you know. And that's the same as today. It's kind of funny, hasn't changed, only the work. The work's gotten easier for people in offices and computers and there's a lot of less of it but this you know and how even delivery drivers are sitting down all day but at the same time it's uh you know what i mean killing hours and hours of your time to earn that paycheck you know what i mean honest living hard work again somewhat i mean look i'm sitting down now so but i'm still gonna deliver this shit come back do it again do other things you know what i mean i suppose what i'm trying to say is Life is a hell of a lot easier compared to those days, but at its core, you still got to hit the grind, you know what I mean? And it sucks, but whatever. I still don't know about uh, Arthur, I assume he's dead, like whatever. Like, or did we survive, or you know? I don't think we ever came this far. I don't know where we are on the map because I've never gone past all what he's saying. Wow. I don't remember coming up here. Or maybe I did a bit here. Maybe maybe up here? I don't know. Hopefully we don't, we don't have to drive back, do we? That's a pain in the ass. Oh, the fast travel it. I don't think we've got fast travel. Other than maybe the stagecoach. Maybe we've got that. Yeah, there's that, but... I think there's going to be a stagecoach section up here, you know what I mean? Where he lives. I feel like they're trying to make you proper grind it. Like, come on, you got to ride all the way there, all the way back. Oh uh, yeah, here we are. Shit. I ran into a tree. So it was R1 to reverse. It won't let me do that earlier. Whatever. You'd have thought over 30, 40 hours, I would have known what the reverse button was, and I forget. <laughs> Sorry, just damage your fence. <sighs> I'll damage your flowers. <laughs> Everything, really. <laughs> you Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. When's uh, boss man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. Damn. Come back here. <laughs> 
They stole the wagon. Wait, what? I've got to go get it back? Oh, shit. I ain't got any guns. Retrieve the stolen wagon. But I ain't got no guns or nothing. Stop the wagon, you can block it. Okay, jump on the horse. Okay. Jump from your horse. That's insane. Okay, I just seem to have killed my horse. Oh, stupid horse. Get up! He said block it, but... Dickheads. Trying to reverse. So they want him to sell the farm to whoever their boss is. It is a beautiful place. I wonder what they own nearby. Probably just another farm, but like more land. You know what I mean? Better for them. you Milton isn't it those boys are out of Laramie work for mr. Abel thank you don't mention it listen I ain't looking for no charity or nothing but I was serious you got work we'll work I can do anything we got we got robbed ourselves a few days back we ain't married hands here you're married I work harder than any one of them I'm real honest and my wife even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... Please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little <laughs> cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. We'll get yourself. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. All right. Seems promising. Love it. I like now. It's getting late. You don't have to go back out. We'll get your wife. Like, goddamn. All right. This is like the next section, chapter of the story. John's life. Epilogue, part one. Bronghorn Ranch. And we start the day. Okay, we've got our missions and stuff. Hold on, give me a second. Let me save it if I can. You still can't save it. This is insane. Okay, well, whatever. So we have to see... That dude? Hey, can we... S I don't know. Can we sleep it off? I don't know. Uh, we'll just get, get to work. Mr. I can't remember all the lies we are talking about here, saying... Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, nah, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Yeah. <laughs> hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? 
Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Yeah, he knew that we changed our name. John Jim. You know what I mean? We were better off keeping uh we were better off keeping our first name as John. Everyone have keeping their first name and just keeping the Milton name. Uh because Milton's easy to remember and then everyone's got their first names as normal. That was a mistake. But okay. Uh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no. Sure. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, he don't want his wife finding out about him causing trouble or anything. She'd be pissed off at us. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise. Oh, boy, she heard. What supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. <laughs> she already knew. Typical wife. I was going to milk the cows. <laughs> come on, I'll do it. You are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> gunslinger. No. Nothing like that. Now, just a ranch hand, then. Ranch hand. Failed in a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. All right. I'm gonna milk cows now. I wonder how this one's gonna pan out. Women here did most of the milking, but most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, Mister? Sure. <laughs> it's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down. I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. <laughs> Who would? <laughs> we grabbing that. Okay, so you got to do it one by one. Wait, hold on, what? Oh, I see. The annual dog sticks. Now we're talking. Almost got a pail full. Damn. I wonder how many buckets can fill up. Apparently three. Spilling that, that'd be worth X amount of money, Jesus. That's your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. Three buckets full. Damn. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. 
I don't know if it has to be processed, but I would not want to drink that straight, you know what I mean, like from now, I don't know. <laughs> Oof. But it's all warm, ugh. Imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... Hopefully the boy don't say anything. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Like where we're from and all this stuff, you know what I mean? If anything, we screwed up more times than anyone else, so... Well, you get, get a pitchfork. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just again on this work, but hard as it may be. Boy, scoop what the pit what? Press square. Oh, got scoop man manure up. Okay, fair enough. I bet the smell is disgusting. Ah, you're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Of course, this is if this is horses manure. I think it is. You can use it to fertilize the land as well. So. But I'm sure most people already, like, you knew that, so. Let's be honest. John people um, used to, I think even now, I'm not too sure, well, probably in the olden days, obviously. They go around selling it to, uh, to farmers. A way of making money for their, so if you haven't got horses and X, Y, and Z, and someone has, they can go and sell this as, uh, to help their f uh, plants or crops grow, whatever. I think we got one more to do. This is a dog's work. Yeah, it's dog's work, but it is what it is. Return the pitchfork. Rick mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Go and house speak with Abigail, okay. So a house isn't bad, like for someone just staying there. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not massive, but it's better than what I thought. You know what I mean? Caravan smaller than this shit. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. <laughs> Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here, survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. It's not a bad little gig. Work hard all day, come home, rest, get paid, eat, um, repeat. It's better to have that than for him to keep fleeing you know what I mean peace of mind you you as you get older peace of mind becomes very very important to people trust me especially if you're a guy it's like you just want peace of mind you don't want to have to worry about shit you know what I mean three dollars we earn today mission complete the simple pleasures of life well just simple pleasures but you know what I mean we still can't save the game what is happening here? The sank gang on. I don't have to do all this guy's missions. This is insane. I don't want to take a cigarette. And we can't sleep because this is insane. Lots of work to do, but I'm all right. They're just not letting us finish it. What's this? We've got two missions here. Tom Dickens, farming for beginners. Work to be done around the ranch with Mr. Dickens. Fathers, fatherhood for beginners. Huh. We can do that, I don't mind. So this sucks because I can't save it still, but... Let's see what this is about anyway. Because we'll do some more farmland stuff if we have to in the next part. What's this? 
I said to Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. All right. <clears throat> so I've got to help with his son, who wants to ride a specific horse. I'm good. Follow Abe. Okay. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... Is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. What do you mean? Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. I wonder if he's, uh, I wonder if he's seeing women or something. He says it's not for business. Bit of pleasure, you know what I mean? Help Duncan. That's interesting. Think about it. He goes into the city, gets a bit of pleasure. You know what I mean? Comes home to the wife. Assume she ain't cheating or whatever. Whoa. You sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Calm the horse. Shh. Relax. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. I'm going to calm the horse. He's going mad. None of that. You done? Come on. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats. Seems like getting near him. He's a pain in the ass. Calm down. He's a smack in the face. Sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to pat the thing? Same way as he does for you. I'm supposed to go help your mother. Jesus, it's crazy. Shh. No, exactly the horse whisperer here, are we? Okay. This thing's going crazy. Stop! Stop! In a minute, I'm gonna fucking choke slam it. Tire out, Jeremiah. Oh, you gotta tire him out. I see. And then you kind of bomb with him. There you go. Good boy. Stop being a dickhead. I gotta keep patting. We're okay. What do I keep fucking doing? Good lad. Settle down, okay? Hey. You're okay. You're okay. This is stupid. Easy there. Alright, so it's a process. So you just got to do the calm and then the pain. And you got to keep pressing it. This is so stupid, though. Because I did it like 50 times. You know what I mean? What's going on here? Who's a good boy? I would like to get on the bloody horse. So just keep patting him. And pray to God that eternity doesn't come. Like, come on. It's all right, ain't it? Look without the horse whisperer. Why don't we give it something to eat, like some oats or something? You know what I mean? Some hay. I can't even get on it, or can I get? On? Yes, I can. There we go, you stupid horse. Do you have a lot of stamina, or calm? Okay. For a ride. Oh, deplete his stamina. I see. So maybe ride out with him? 
Oh, I see. He's got energy. I see. And I can't seem to leave the, the thing. Shh. Out. There we go. Let's get all the energy out of him. So annoying. So that was a weird one. You got some energy? Show me that. I want to be free, he says. Annoying bastard horse. <laughs> Come on. Where's that big mean horse? So yeah, he he does have some energy and all the rest of it, so. Let's get a lather up. Alright, in the water? Wanna go in the water? I think he said lava up. Is there any water here? Go to Duncan, let him ride Jeremiah. Okay, here we go. So that's pretty good. I like the idea of that. We have to burn the energy off for him. Or like just, you know, let him be free and wild. Because we can tame him and... What the hell? Alright, drop back then. This horse is a pain in the ass. Now he's all tired. I can't do anything like... Can I give him whole stuff? There's an apple. Give him a bloody apple. We eat the bloody apple. There we go. Shh, 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 shh. And let's get back to Duncan. Terrible name, by the way. How do I get in here? All right. All right. Ready for you. Okay. Go nice and slow. Duncan is a pain in the ass. Stay calm. Watch Duncan. Stay calm. Okay. Me? The horse. You calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Hmm. I'm just going around just calmly. You sure there ain't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. <laughs> pony. You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. That's good. Lancelot would be able to ride a horse. Are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich. Way richer than Pa. And he's got all guns. Out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll. Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. I see. So it's a proper rich man, huh? Yeah, but, but, just worry about the horse. Yeah. Yes, sir. If this guy's getting pleasure in town from girls or whatever it is, or even a gambling addiction, he could end up being blackmailed and and having to sell his farm due to that. Unless his wife, because if they tell his wife, yeah, your husband's mucking around, oh, you I'm could um, get divorced and stuff. That's an easy now. Who knows? Both of you. Just throwing it out there. Well, he's trotting a bit. You, Mr. Milton? I thought you were going to help me. I am. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what oh, am I okay. about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. You, Mr. Milton. This is Gibbles or whatever. Give him a carrot when you put him down. This is the stall. In here. In here? What? So... You know much about birthing a foal milk? Uh not too much. Nothing. Oh where does my husband find men like you? <laughs> well, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Oh, come on. Can I have some gloves? Hey, <laughs> Yo, what the 
Slowly rotate to find the legs. There we are, grip. Come on. I don't know what button I'm supposed to be pushing. Because he won't let me. <sighs> Hold on. Oh, Paul, I see. Right analog stick, my bad. Oh, X. Oh, I lost it. It's coming out one way or another. Grab it again. There. There. Oh. There we go. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a That's disgusting. Of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton... Feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to uh -oh. host our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day. Mr. Milton. Ooh, she didn't like that. He was married. She likes to have her fun with the, the hands. You know what I'm saying? These hands got hands. <laughs> All right. The question is, would you have done it if you were, like, single? Or whatever. That is the question. Hmm. You get in trouble if you figure you're out of there. You know what I mean? If she... Whatever. But here we are. You know what I mean? <laughs> the risk. Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? been kind of withdrawn quiet you know sure it's probably boring there for him in a lot of ways come on boy let's go for a walk come on A walk where? Oh yeah, we've got uh, a pony in it. Yeah, we can take him for a ride. Let's go. All right, so Commandian updated thoroughbred. We got a thoroughbred. Oh, I like this horse. Pretty nice. Ride with Jack. Can we go home? No. Here. Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know, but maybe that stream. Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on, you know. So this is a pony. So it's the same thing as riding a horse. I know it's obviously bigger. Just act confident, okay? Uh huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. I cannot ride a horse myself, nor would I want to fucking try. I'll probably fall off and break my fucking leg or neck or whatever. Little kick a... Funny story, I walked into a horse. It was a football game and I weren't looking. I was looking at my phone or something and I walked in, nearly walked into a horse. The horse got scared shitless. And I was like, oh shit, I didn't see the horse. <laughs> people like, like the people I was with like, did you see a fucking horse? Like, what the hell? See? Didn't see it. Come on, go a little faster. Be a bit daring. Whoa. Even faster. Come on. Faster? What's yeah, nice. Easy, <laughs> All right, slower then, slower. Whoa. He's scared. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> he could have been killed. <laughs> oh, he's pissed. You okay? Damn. Why 
Watch your language. You okay? Yeah, I think so. To be fair, he did fall off a horse, dude. Get back on. Okay. Come on, didn't you hear what Batman said to his son? Well, what did uh, Thomas Wayne said? Right. Why do we fall? To get back up. Now, come on. If you say so, sir. Yeah. Yeah, there we are. That's about it. It's fine. Now really stick your boot in. If you say so. Come on, boy. That's about it. Don't go any faster than that. Yeah, it's good. There you are. Decent pace. Not bad for his first, uh, first outing. Where are we going again? The lake, right? I didn't see a lake. I didn't see any water. You know? Probably way further up. He seems happier now. Bonding and learning a new skill. Especially out here. And he's going to need to. Like, I'm not going to keep riding his ass to town every bloody day or week or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know where the, um, the lake is. Shut up, stupid horse. Ah. I was saying, I was gonna, can we kill that? I was like, wait a minute, this is a farm, isn't it? And then I'm like, probably can't do that. There you go. What's your feet? Yep. I know you fell, but you think you're ready for a little race? I'll be fine. All right. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go. Race jet to the ranch. <laughs> I'm winning! I'm gonna fucking just... Yeah, well, fuck you. No way. I'm not having that. Fuck my son. I don't care. <laughs> I'm winning this. Hey, come back here. You'll have to catch me. What? Eh. Oh, wait a minute. We're supposed to be cheering him up, right? Yes, it can, and it's a pony. It ain't even a proper horse. <laughs> Don't tell him that, though. But you know what I mean? Yeah, you can move. Fair play. And he ain't fucking up. I'll give him... I won't win. I'll just let him have Buffy's boost of confidence. You know what I mean? There you go. You beat me in a race, son. I beat you. I beat you. I well beat ridden, son. I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. <laughs> Another day on the ranch. That would drive me nuts every morning, that shit waking me up. Hey. Mm. I'll get the coffee home. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Get the place. Mm -hmm. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Can I save this goddamn game right now? You should be able to. It's ridiculous. Why can't we save it? 
I have no idea what's going on here. This is insane. In a minute, I just might leave it, turn it off. That's how pissed off I'm getting with it. Maybe I'm mistaken and... You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to continue. Wait, what was this mission? Because we had more work to do around the farm and I ignored it. Farming for beginners. Uh, we had to fix... I think I remember this. Didn't we have to fix a fence? Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Oh, yeah, it is a fence. Sure. I knew it. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence. Can't milk a cow. Ain't used to shoveling shits. But took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Yep. There's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't Okay. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch and place it Position in okay. Position and place the rail. Um, what? Don't think too hard about it. Now, lift up the oh, I see. It's got to be free anyway. Line up, see? Now the next rail. That's crooked to me. Fine. Okay. Last one. Good. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you grasp the <sighs> Oh, I see. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Yeah, that's long. That's a pain in the ass. I get what it is. It's fine. It's easy work. You just got to be consistent. And it's like, damn. that take all day. Especially if it's one man. It'd be better with two. But whatever. Just tiring, you know what I mean? Jimmy went over here. What is it, dude? Investigate the command, the quarrel, whatever. The commotion at the quarrel. The hell? Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. What am I doing? Uh, just the basics. Don't make him mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton, Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on, move. Oh shit. Oh damn. Oh man, that's some injuries right there. Catch the ball. Use your lasso to catch the ball. Okay, I've got a lasso. I need a horse, right? Okay, I can't even get on the horse. They're not letting me. That's garbage. <sighs> Whatever. Have I got... I assumed I had to be on a horse. No, you it's don't. all I've ever been 
done but I've okay it's gonna hurt yeah but again I've only ever been on a horse when I've done this lasso what do they want me to do because I'll just do, do that, okay. Well, yeah, there you go. Ah, uh, they've damaged the fence, and I can't... No, I can't get on the horse. So you can't use the horse, it's just straight there. It's just garbage. And they've damaged my bloody fence. I just fixed it. Oh. Christ's sake. No, no. You can do. Oh, come on. Stupid thing. Calm this thing down. You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. Calm the ball. Get what well, everybody got some food. Whatever it likes. Trying to stay away from its head, you know what I mean? Easy. All better? Okay. <laughs> Are you better? Come on, you hunk of chuck. You're an angry one. I don't want to let this go. <laughs> Let's go. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. Good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Oof, that was a pain in the ass. Who are these men here? Investigate the disturbance. Again, can I save it? They're just not letting me save it, are they? It's bullshit. Damn! <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to fight him. Come on. Piece of shit. Come on, tough guy. Thought he was hard. Huh? Huh? So fucking hard. Who's a fucking bitch now? Picking on a fucking kid. Picking on a fucking grown man, you little cunt. <laughs> I'll put you in the fucking ground. Teach you a fucking lesson. Get off my fucking land, you piece of shit. Oh, your boy's backing you up, you cunt. He hit me. Fuckhead. You can fight, boy. I'll give you that. How's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. Oh boy, the wife's gonna be. <sighs> God damn it. Wife's pissed. 
They deserved it. They're pieces of shit. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Again, we've done another mission, but I can't save it. I don't... I'm worried about, you know, like, thingy in the game. We've literally done so much at this point. I need a word. Okay, and Abigail's pissed. Alright, whatever, let's go speak to Abigail. Fatherhood for idiots, he said. Uh, this one's called. I'll break it up into the other sections, guys, whatever. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is. Well, you no. Know, undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. Ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a Goddamn price on my head, woman! I know! I know all about that! Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton! Every place we've been, it's been the same! We start doing okay, and then boom! You act like the big man with the gun! I'm tired, John, and... I guess I was dreaming a little, at least give me that. Just... feels hopeless. You're... You're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am, I just need you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? <laughs> My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes, a real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> I do feel sorry for her. Make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get. As far as I'm concerned at this point, we've done well as a rancher. Like, we're learning the thing, we know what to do. When you know what to do, and you, like the milking of the cow, the, alright, the birth is a little bit difficult, but hopefully you don't have to do that consistently. Uh, setting up the fence, and all these various things, alright, it's not a glamorous job. But if you're doing it, it's hard work, you're earning money, you're good, you're fine, and you go, you do it day by day, that's all there is to it, that's all you can do. She's dreaming a little bit, trying to, you know, she wants to buy a place outside Blackwater or whatever. I know he's A, nervous of doing that, but B, look where it's at, Blackwater, where we've been before. But I don't blame her for dreaming a little bit, and he's kind of wary. He hates probably what he's doing to a point. He's doing it for his wife, but he also is wary of, like, getting a house, a mortgage, and all this kind of stuff, bank loans. This is the society of what we live in today, and he's not used to any of that. He's a... Uh, you know, having cash in his hand, no paper trails, none of this kind of stuff, no deeds to a property. So they, he, she's trying to be prim and proper, and she can go about it the way she wants to. He's very wary of it all. I don't blame him, but I also don't blame her for wanting more. You know what I mean? At least she works well, kind of thing, so... I'm just annoyed I can't save it. I don't know if I've got to just keep going. I mean, I could turn it off, but I don't want to turn it off and what happens if um, I lose all my progress. Maybe that won't happen. I'm probably thinking it, but 
I'm still enjoying it. I just feel like I'd rather have come back another day and did this, you know? Alright, so he's going to take the reins. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, what, what do I do? <laughs> well, just hold him and pull him short to slow down. Tell him to go faster. Give him a little switch. And then hold him one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Right, so you got now. I was gonna say, when am I gonna hand these over? That strawberry sign needs updated. You know what I mean? It looked a bit faded. Why don't they just put proper paint over it? Like, just put an arrow. Whatever. So she wanted a dress that she'd ordered. I love how you was concerned, like, oh, well, you've been shopping, woman? You know what I mean? What did you, you spend all my money? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, she doesn't, you know, she looks, she doesn't, you know, she lives a normal life. She's not complaining at all. She deserves a little something. This will be a banner century. Just you. All right. Here we are. Click the mail. All right. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. He does seem a little bit down, the boy. In in like in the section like earlier when he was on the bump bed, I was like, "What's wrong with him?" You know, we taught him how to ride. He was doing all right, reading comics or the paper or whatever. Uh, yes, yeah, so we need to collect some mail. Hi, I'm here. To name? Shit. Name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Oh, you Marston. dick. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. Uh, I can't believe he came out and said it loud. Come on. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's, uh... Mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's <laughs> Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so. Please. Yeah, not good, though. That guy knows our name. <laughs> I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah. All right, so let him ride home. <laughs> we'll be there watching anyway. So, wait. We've come ride with Jack to the ranch. Okay, fine. To go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out... Uh, He's doing quite well, but it's good for him to learn. Get used to it. Train him slowly but surely. We're going back. Okay, boy? But... I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. Yeah, I would actually like to go to the store or whatever. What have they got in store anyway? I mean in here. Just a general store and a hotel. That's it. That's all we could have messed around with. Um, wow, look at this place. Everything's abandoned, gone. Like, 
there's nothing here. It's crazy to think after all these years of being around here and everything, we've reverted to back here somewhere. You know what I mean? With all the characters. Watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Find your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Ah, uh, you can speed up a bit. Let's get away from there. Okay. Pia. It's not in the rain now. Faster, please. A little bit more. Doing quite well. Ah. We can't change clothes. I noticed that. That's all we got is what we got. Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No. Nope. Not engaging with anyone. Pissing down with rain. He's doing well with a boy. I'll give him that. This is good for his personal growth. He can ride a horse. He can ride this carriage, whatever you want to call it. The cart. Pretty good. Little things like this to help you become stronger. The more you know, kind of thing, you know? Knowledge is power. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go. Okay, shit. Okay. Now, don't blame him for being a bit wary of, you know, if he's a little bit nervous. He'll be all right. I can't tell him to slow down or anything at this point. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep Shit. Driving. Oh, I thought it was those guys. If they harass me, my boy, I have to shoot them. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pod, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just oh, are they now? See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here. So we're going to be attacked, huh? Come on, quick, down. Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen, let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. Shit. Diffuse. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Rowan Oak a few months back? No. Diffuse again. What me? That was my brother. I'm sorry, Diffuse. Oh shit. Well, you said it. Oh, shot the horse nearly. They have bad shots. Return to Jack. While responsible, Jack, you will not be able to use any weapons. That's fine. Two bucks. Silver buckle. Horse reviver. Well, I didn't have nine common, really. A couple of bucks. Potent health cure. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. 
Keep them eyes close. Let's go. We gotta get out of here before we get blamed. Come on, get up. All right. Say blamed, but like being in the vicinity. Don't tell you, mother. Uh, encourage. Look. Real brave back there. Real brave. Okay. Exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Just don't tell your mom. Don't speak about it. You know what I mean? Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. Read you about it, didn't you? What was it called? Stop it! I don't like this much. Uh -huh. well, what was the name, boy? Beecher's Hope. That's right. Beecher's Hope. Yeah, huh? I don't know. Like it, huh? I wasn't so sure, but yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Take a lot of work, though, because it takes, you know, it's only us or two men doing, you know what I mean, the work. And he's a boy. You know what I mean? Sorry, I was just turning the TV down and then up. It was going to turn off. But yeah. Hmm. Okay. Again, I'm still looking for a place to save it. Park uh, near the ranch, okay. Go say hi to your mother. How is the What's he run past her for? What happened? Yeah. It's I don't. We got shot at. Shot at? What oh, happened? Jesus. Well, we got followed and then. We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. I... Oh, she's father. mad at us again. We weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Oh, well, thank you. Uh... <sighs> Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, and fatherhood for idiots. <laughs> Again, I don't know why we can't save it. Oh, now we can save it. Thank God. No idea. 54% of the game done. It's saying now we are out. Oh my god. 65% of the game. Guys, this is going to be broken up an awful lot. This is uh, John's life or whatever. But I'm enjoying the side stories thus far or whatever's going on, you know, like with the farming and stuff. Uh, we progress with the story as well. I'm assuming Arthur Morgan is dead. Obviously, I had uh, that issue to tuberculosis or whatever. Maybe I died of my injuries as well. Maybe a combination of the both. But uh, his story seems to have ended. And. Um, but that's fine, you know, I mean, we're moving on with this, which I thought the game would have ended, but then obviously we've got John's story, which I kind of forgot about. Um, but I'm enjoying this right now, and, you know, there's struggles. We're trying to readapt back into, into society in the new world, as it were, and trying to keep a low profile, and our path keeps catching up with us. All right, guys, I'm going to edit the video the best I can. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.